Welcome to another episode of Unleashing the Future Work, aka Guy Live B2B Jam Session. Super excited today to be here with you all from Oakland, California. For now, I'm actually in the middle of transitioning some of my stuff out of Oakland, but here nonetheless, showing love on another episode today with a special guest who I'm not going to announce yet. And in fact, she's a busybody. She is everywhere. She's global. Uh, you might know her from Twitter. You might know her from LinkedIn. No matter if you don't even know her, you're going to hear more about her and all the amazing things that she's doing today. And what she's doing to really change the narrative of venture capital, as well as how she's investing in amazing founders who are building amazing movements that are focused on social impact and are really changing the world. With that said, let us know where you're tuning in from. Where are you watching today or listening today to the Guy Live B2B Jam session? Are you at home, in bed, at work, not talking to your boss? Let us know. Show us some love in the comments. And we know we always have an amazing UK audience as well. So let us know in the comments where you're tuning in from, and we'll give you a shout out throughout the show. With that said, today's special guest, I'm really excited to talk with her. She's just an amazing person, good soul, kind heart, building an amazing movement. She leads TMB.BC, which is Trail Mix Ventures. Trail Mix Ventures. Soraya is the general partner and founder of TMB, which is an early stage venture firm investing in purposeful startups reimagining the future. Trail Mix Ventures back startup companies focused on ideas that will reshape industries or inspire new ones. Fund one and fund two investments focus on frontier health organizations, marketplaces, and design-driven technology. Y'all know I love a good design-driven organization. Uh, Soraya is also the host of Business School, the podcast by Synchrony, and a top 20 business podcast on Apple for which she travels the United States hosting and doing. Super excited to be really speaking with her because she has just an interesting background that I think you guys can learn from. And if any of you all are interested in building a fund, investing in founders, building your own portfolio, getting into venture capital, this is the woman to talk to. But we're going to dive deep on Soraya's origin story. You know, what got her inspired to start this fund? How did she approach it? And fundamentally, you know, what does she think is the current state of venture capital as well as, you know, it, the future of work? With that said, let's go ahead and bring Soraya on so we can dive deep with her. Soraya, hey. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Tim. Thanks for having me. Thank you for making time to be on the show today. You know, it's really, really appreciative. I know we've been trying to get this done for a few months now. Yeah. How are you doing? You know, how's everything going in the East Coast? You know, we're all still kind of going through this COVID thing. Well, are you living life? Are you taking care of yourself? Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, all well and healthy here in Park Slope, Brooklyn, where I live. Um, you might hear my six-month-old, Clara, in the background. She'll make a cameo. Um, we're good. We're, we're lucky. You know, parents got the vaccine. Coworkers are good. And uh, I can't complain, ultimately, during uh, a hellish year for many, many people. By the way, Tim, are you wearing three aura rings right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so they're actually not aura rings. I looked at the aura rings, but I was like, yo, these are expensive. Yeah. yeah. I was like, these are too expensive. So I'm actually doing a kind of a, a social experiment. These are, they look like the aura rings. Yeah. They're actually just like traditional rings. They look good. They're really luxurious. But <laughs> I actually love the aura rings. I was like, yo, I am not going to buy this because I have a watch already that does the okay. exact same thing. <laughs> You're such a millennial. I love it. I thought you were like stacking aura on aura, <laughs> right? But I love the aura ring. But you know, I, you know, it, it, it's things like this that have actually helped me through the pandemic personally. Just be mindful of my health. I've actually really gotten into you know fitness and health, and you know, what are the t different types of technologies that are really aiding that type of lifestyle uh, in today's Talk time. about that. I'm looking at my Peloton bike right now. It stares me down in my office every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, so talk to me because you all at Trail Mix, you all invest in all types of different companies. Do you all, how did that, what did, how did that start, right? Because a lot of people still see Trail Mix now. You all have been around for quite some time. You all are fun too. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are listening in, you know, a venture firm, they can operate with the fund model. You have fun one, fun two. And over time, they invest out of those funds. What inspired that journey, Sarai? How did you kind of first, Realize, you know what, Trail Mix Ventures is something that needs to exist. Let me go ahead and put it out into the world. 
Cool. Three questions to unpack. I'll do my best uh, to be efficient because I know we've got a 15 minute show. Uh, first of all, we're sort of like Prince. I'm from Minnesota and everyone in Minnesota is really obsessed with Prince. So we're the fund formerly known as Trail Mix Ventures. We go by TMV now and TMV started in uh, 2015 when a classmate from Georgetown University and I, her name is Marina Haji Pateras, um, got together to talk shop. Back then in 2015, there weren't a lot of women who were like us. Uh, we were angel investing capital that we had earned per our decade plus of hard work. And we were looking to invest in um, non-obvious companies, uh, underrepresented founders for sure, but also companies that you wouldn't immediately think of as, oh, that's so obviously venture backable because we think that's where we have our bleeding edge. And I grew up in a household that cares a lot about health and well-being. My mother was a public health professor at Columbia. Um, my sister worked for uh, a major think tank called Guttmacher Institute um, in repro health and women's health initiatives. So healthcare was always sort of in our blood. Um, meanwhile, my business partner, Marina, had a very different background. She comes from uh, a 200 plus year old shipping family in Greece. Uh, yeah, hence the name Marina. And uh, she brought just unbelievable financial acumen to the table, but she was also running her family office at the time. And we got together and she said, wow, you have unparalleled deal flow across healthcare and the future of work, which you know I write about now for Cisco. And I said to her, similarly, I'd love to learn about your work raising, in her case, $135 million to take your shipping business public on the New York Stock Exchange. Those institutional investor relationships are really paramount to the work that I do. And we started investing together. And so how did it form? Uh, we got together with our partners, Evan, Julia, and Darshan over the years. Um, Evan has sold a consumer mobile company or two, uh, Darshan, an ed tech company and a cloud computing company, and Julia ran a $100 million PL for General Motors. And we realized we had five different but complementary domain based experiences that together would allow us to be both a generalist fund and a vertical specific fund, which mm -hmm. Maybe this is too much jargon, but it's really important to have a point of view in venture. And so we got together and we spent about a year hashing out our points of view. And then the culmination of that is what is now known as TMV.VC. Yeah. Well, you know, share a little bit about some of the amazing uh, luminary partners, uh, limited partners you all have um, that have, you know, uh, that are actually backing you all and are, are supporting this movement that you all are creating with TMV. Oh, uh, so we're really pleased. As of last week, we're, we're honored to announce that Bank of America is one of our investors because they have a strong point of view themselves about um, investing capital into EMs, we're called emerging managers, um, that in turn reinvest that capital in what I call the way the world actually looks. So we just linked to census data on our website, you know, 51% of Americans in the workforce are women. And by 2035, 54% of Americans will be black or Latinx. And that is a byproduct of the way America has been operating for so long. But inversely, those two communities that I just mentioned are the least likely to receive venture financing. So there's this inverse thing at play, which is really warped. And we said, we want to be kind of badass. We don't want to have a gender lens focus on our fund, right? We're not only investing in women X. Uh, we don't necessarily want to have a minority focus. We want to invest in fabulous founders, mm. period, because it's simply good for business. And to that end, honestly, our underrepresented founders have been the highest performers in fund one. So it's pretty spectacular to be able to point to a track record now and to say, you know, to our inv investors, our LPs, as you put it, this is how it's done. Mm. And then in terms of our general partners, I'm just really honored to get to work with them. You know, Marina, I mentioned, is one of the only women to take a maritime business public with her family oriented company. Um, Evan founded Swift Media, which he sold to Monotype. It's publicly listed on NASDAQ. Darshan was the founder of Imagine Easy Solutions, which high school students know as being um, one of the largest online bibliographies. Uh, and he sold that company for a considerable sum, sum to Chegg. Um, an ed tech company that's public. But what's cool about Darshan is that he never raised a penny of venture for that business. Wow. So these different partners, they all come together. It's sort of like the cartoon Captain Planet that we watched as kids where everyone has, you know, a ring and a superpower and <laughs> our powers <laughs> combined. I don't yeah, know. You marvel. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, if it's Marvel, what is that? Is that uh, X-Men? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X-Men, you know, Daredevil. Yeah, the, the entire book. As long book. as I get to be Storm. <laughs> I love it. Well, so right, let, let's talk, let's dive a little deep a little, a little bit. You know, I, I, while we have you, because you're also a mompreneur, mm -hmm. um, founder, 
you know, fund manager and whatnot. You know, how do you juggle all of those things? You know, for those who are listening right now, and shout out to the homie Jesse Mercado who's saying, Whoa, strap is next level, mentioning uh, our Uber conversation earlier. And he's saying, you know, he loves my rings. Thank you so much, Jesse. I appreciate you. I love your rings as well, if you have it. And shout out to him. He's showing love to A Shout as well. Molly's laughing out loud. Molly, tell us a little bit why you're laughing so we can make you laugh a little bit more. But back to the question, Soraya, you know, how are you juggling everything that you're doing as a mompreneur, a founder, an emerging fund manager, and someone that's really leading an amazing movement around, you know, the changing of the guard in, in venture capital? Oh, thanks for asking. Um, well, I don't sleep. Um, <laughs> so my kid is six months old. She wakes me up at 4.30 in the morning today at 3.30. We're trying to sleep train her, but um, we're softies. And uh, my fiance and I, we just don't really like the idea of the cry it out theory, uh, which is, you know, letting your kid cry and cry and cry and, and self-soothe. So basically, I don't sleep. That's my trick is is caffeine. Um, I, I'm running on Partners Coffee right now. So it's a great D2C brand. I'm not an investor, but I should be. Um, and what do I do? Uh, yeah. So we, we at TMV, we manage um you know, tens of millions of dollars, um, AUM, and uh, we also co-own a growth marketing firm. Uh, and so there's a there's a lot of work to be done. And, and our team is all remote right now due to the pandemic. So I just structure my day very, very carefully. And the most important word in business that I learned a little too late in life is no. Um, mm. Passing with a smile, but it's really important to be guarded with your time. Like, for instance, to only do interviews with awesome humans like yourself, Tim, uh, because every second of the day is bandwidth and bandwidth is our most precious commodity. At least that's mm. what I feel. Mm, that's powerful. Shout out to Molly who's saying, love the Captain Planet and uh -huh. a comparison. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> Thank you so much, Molly. <laughs> you know, really quickly, Soraya, you know, talk a little bit more about some of the portfolio companies that you all have yeah. recently invested in our fund one and, you know, some of your plans for, for fund two. And what are you currently excited about that's happening in the technology industry right now? And how is it reinforcing um, the way you all are investing uh, throughout the next uh, fund? Oh, so um, this is my favorite thing to talk about, portfolio companies that yeah. we love. All right, I'm gonna rattle some off um, and, and companies outside of our portfolio that we think are really cool too, so you don't just think I'm biased, but um, <laughs> really, really proud of City Block Health. Um, they became a unicorn last month. It's from TMV Fund One. It's bringing premium healthcare to low income neighborhoods, started with Crown Heights and the Bronx and New York, and now they've launched in Washington, DC. Um, what's really special among many, many, many things about City Block Health is it's one of the only two companies in America with uh, a black female founder at the helm, Dr. Toyana Jai. And so cool. I think, um, you know, uh, she's really special. She's a spectacular human. I've only had the chance to really spend time with her on one occasion because she's on a rocket ship. I know her other co-founder is a little bit better, but um, really amazing to see tides changing a bit per our earlier conversation about investing in the way the world actually looks. Um, outside of our portfolio, though, I'm an angel investor obsessed with clockwise.ai, which is an AI calendaring tool that basically reimagines how we spend time. Since you're the future of work guy, I think you'll like this company a lot, too. Oh, sounds good. So a little shout out to Matt Martin and his team in Silicon Valley. They're building something very, very special. At TMV, we like anything that touches technology converging with 200 plus year old industries. So that could be, for instance, in uh, the mobility world and maritime shipping, we're investors in a company called Transmute, female founder out of Austin, Texas, digitizing invoices um, on the blockchain for the first time. Or it could be a company called Nautilus Labs, a great founder named Matt as well, who is building out a way to create data loggers for the maritime industry um, collectively. You know, they're as, they're as powerful as um, a large country. Wow. Um, in other sectors, we're super stoked. You asked me about being a entrepreneur. Um, we invested in tinyhood.com, which is like the masterclass for new parents. So that's a company where I've been really obsessed this last year. I've watched every video in their catalog, catalog library, basically teaching parents how to sleep train, which I'm doing a bad job of. Um, <laughs> So, you know, our, our portfolio is, is widespread, but the way it works is founders come to us when they want a lead investor, um, mm. somebody who takes a real shot on them and, and a shot on goal. Um, so we invest half a million to 1.5 million to earn about 10% to 15% on average with that first check of a, of a company. We take a board seat um, and then we really lean in with capital and counsel, hence the growth marketing agency we co-own, hence all of my partners that have between them seven exits. Um, so we, we lean in with our time, with their time, our LPs times, a lot of unicorn founders have backed our fund. And that's what differentiates us from a very, very, very crowded marketplace. 
I love it. I love it, Soraya. You all are killing it. I mean, you're killing it, especially on Twitter. I'm a huge fan of, of what you're doing. And, you know, I'm so grateful that you found the time to just spend with us and, and share a little bit about the future. And, you know, some of the amazing companies you all are betting on and mm -hmm. who are led by underrepresented founders who are truly changing the narrative. Thank you so much for that, Soraya. With that said, where can the people continue following Soraya and the movement that you and the team are leading with TMV.co? So kind. Uh, well, tmv.bc is our website. Oh, not PC. <laughs> uh, no, no, but no, it's all good. Um, you can add me on LinkedIn. My name is not phonetic. It's it's Middle Eastern, but S O R A Y A D A R A B I. I'm on Twitter. I'm at Sarai on Instagram, but that's mostly like you know boring photos. Um, you can add me on LinkedIn for sure, where I think I'm a suggested user, but I don't post enough content to warrant that. Um, and you can definitely write to us at hi at tmv.bc if you have a startup to pitch. Sweet, sweet. Hey, she just gave you all the deets, the down low, and we dove deep. Thank you so much, Soraya. And please, we would love to have you on for a future episode, if that's okay. Would love to be here. Thank you so much, Jay. Right. And shout out to Soraya Darabi for joining us today on today's episode of Guide Live B2B Jam Session, the hottest B2B Jam Session in the world. Yes, I called it because you all are telling me to call it, literally. I get people who are hitting me up every single day saying, Tim, I love Guide Live. I love the people that you bring on. I love the energy. I love what you stand for. I love I love what Guy stands for. So you all are telling me to call us the hottest B2B jam session in the world. And that's because we've been doing this for quite some time and we will only continue to do this. With that said, please make sure you check out our new tea brand, BigBlackTea.com. We are selling out. The demand is crazy. You all keep hitting me up and saying, Tim, I want more tea. We need more tea. Can you get me more tea? Where's the tea? What's the tea? What are you sipping on? And I'm like, look, we got more tea coming, all right? And we're also still building our SaaS platform. It's in beta, but we are doing some amazing things. We're actually partnering with Central Washington University students to build out a machine learning recommendation engine that will go into the product and platform and make it an amazing experience for so many of the people who are gonna be using the platform and the product you know, these days I am just seeing, like taking a step back and seeing our amazing team lead just an amazing company and just supporting them as best as I can. With that said, once again, get you some tea. The tea is hot. We're going crazy with the tea. Uh, and in fact, I'm, I'm still blown away by how much and how big the reception has been for the tea brand. And, you know, we're going to continue making sure that we're building and delivering products that serve you all, but also are good and are quality and make the world a better place. All right, y'all, make sure to sign up for our waitlist if you're interested in being a guy creator, if you want to lead this movement with us. And if you are also interested in being on the show and you think you have someone in mind that's phenomenal, that person could be you even. It could be you, it could be your friend, it could be your best friend's boss. Please reach out to us, utfow.com. utfow.com is where we take potential guests, applicants, I'm receiving applications every other day. My inbox is crazy full, but I do my best to make sure I find and identify amazing people that you all recommend to be on the show. Shout out to Molly for tuning in live with us. Shout out to my homie, Jesse, for always showing love. And thank you all so much for those who are listening now or later to the show. Please check out what TMV.BC is doing please feel free to reach out to Soraya. She's an amazing emerging fund manager. As someone that's truly changing their entrepreneurship as a mompreneur and as a venture capitalist. All right, y'all. Talk soon. Be well. And as always, live in abundance. Peace.